Where's your cojones now, Troy Dini? Where's your cojones? Where they at, though? Let this be a lesson to yourself and any other player that wants to, mid-season, what was it, October or something, that wants to go and sit on big BT Sport and take digs at a club like Arsenal. Like, I know we're in a, in a dire state at the moment. We're rebuilding. We're not the best. But we're still Arsenal. And you play for Watford. Yeah? What are you doing? You want to come and sit on BT Sport and say we lack cojones and that you know if we're up, we're up for it or not. Well, we was up for it today. Where was you? Where was you? You can't be sending shots like that when you're Troy Deeney and you play for Watford. I mean, if you're Troy Deeney and you play for Man City, you know, maybe it's a different kettle of fish then. Maybe I'll be like, all right, cool. Ha ha, banter. It's not banter. You play for Watford, innit? Love it. Cool. You beat us in October. I think it was October. But you came to the Emirates. It didn't happen, did it? Not today, son. Not today. Hold tight, Petr Cech, though, finally getting that 200th clean sheet. And not only that, he saved a penalty. Bro, when was the last? I think, I need some statistics. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure out of the 16 attempts that he's had since he's been at Arsenal, this is his first penalty save as an Arsenal goalkeeper. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's facts. Hold tight, you, Petr Cech. I don't know how many of you have the Arsenal app here where they send out the notifications where there's been a goal scored or sending off. 20 minutes before kickoff, I got a notification saying Mustafi's got a red card in zero minutes. I was like, huh? Why? And all I was thinking was today's not going to be a good day. From the fact that Arsenal are already making errors on their little social medias, on their apps and that, why are they cursing Mustafi? He's going to come on the pitch now and get a red card. But what does he do? He comes on and in the first 10 minutes he gets a goal. What? Mustafi, I can't lie to you, he has been one of my worst players recently. I'll just say as it is, he has not been performing greatly. I haven't had anything positive to say about him in the last God knows how many games. But then he comes and he scores a goal. And he also went and almost scored enough one in the second half. So, hold tight, Mustafi. But, I mean, it's all... This is what I like to see. 3 new at the Emirates. These are the results we should be getting against teams against Watford. But then, I still see... And I'm not, I'm not against it. I still see that fans are making a stand. I'm going to assume they're making a stand because those seats were empty. It's a Sunday afternoon. That is, it's a weekend. These are the days you go and watch your team play. It's not like it's Thursday night. It's not a Wednesday. It's definitely not a Wednesday night. We ain't in no Champions League. But do you know what I mean? It's Sunday afternoon and the seats were empty. I still feel like fans are boycotting. There's a lot of fans that want change. But at the same time, when you support the club, you want to see results like this. And then our two new boys had the pleasure of assisting each other. Obama Yang, Mkhitaryan, getting on the score sheet. That's what we want to see. That's what we signed you for. Mkhitaryan, pretty sure he's got more goals than Alexis Sanchez right now. Do your thing, yeah? Two convincing goals from them. I'm happy for them. Listen, it's a very decent result, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're still rebuilding as a club. We're still rebuilding as a team. There's still a lot of settling in for both of these players to do because, you know, this is not the Arsenal that we aspire to be. But as long as they keep scoring goals and pulling out results, you know, who knows what could happen next season. And a message for Troy Deeney. Don't come for Arsenal again, yeah? I'm pretty sure the son is an Arsenal fan. I hope he banters the hell out of you tonight. I hope you do the school run tomorrow. And uh, he should have he got you to forfeit if you lost today. You should be doing the school run tomorrow in an Arsenal shirt with cojones on the back. Yeah? How about that? The only thing that Arsenal and Troy Deeney have in common is that you look like Drake and we're still views from the six. Yeah, we're, st we're, we're still in six.